Don't try to chase me. Wait. Ready to be touched again. All these old guys on the wall. Who lives here? Callista Flockhart? Those were already damaged after they fell there. What am I supposed to do around here anyway? Sit in a share circle, talk about my feelings? And how would I do that exactly? Because where the fuck is everyone? It's always just you and Negasonic Teenage Longest Name Ever. I said no touching. What the fuck? You think the studio would throw us a bone? One that doesn't end up in my mouth. Your dad, it was like he was training you for paparazzi. The saddest moment in our, in our childhood, and these are uptown problems, was when they switched from film to digital. Because you could just take pictures and pictures and pictures. It could be the, like thousands of pictures of just a meatloaf that's blurry. <laughs> and what he would do is at the end of the night, he would email everyone in the family all the oh photographs. God. So after a while, and I, I, I mean, I deeply regret this now. <laughs> As, a, as an adult male, I have deep regrets for what I did. But I would take the camera sometimes in the middle of dinner and I'd just go in the bathroom and I'd just, just grab a quick shot of my penis. And then he'd email it to everybody. <laughs> Nana, <laughs> and Kathy, Uncle Tim, Gramps got a few of those. Ryan, you're, you're about to have a big change in your life. Well, there's, you have, you have, that could be anything. Wait, I don't know. Hold on a second. You have another baby out there. This is how I find oh. out? <laughs> Four. You're gonna have a fourth baby. Yes. Another girl. Four girl. Uh, I don't know. I, we, I don't, think... we never find out till. Oh, okay. really? Oh, yeah. I, I, I know girls, so I'm sort of kind oh, of hoping okay. that. But yeah. I, I'm ready for wow. whatever whatever oh. happens. And you come from all. You have all brothers. Right? All brothers, which is why I speak from experience. Yeah. When you know, I love my well-being and uh, my home. Uh, <laughs> so I was the youngest of four, and we were just uh, arsonists and firemen. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what you were? Yeah. Now you're the ultimate girl dad. <laughs> James, <laughs> Nessie, and Betty are watching. So oh. hi guys. Oh, I love hi. you. Oh. So cute. Oh. Magnus, Axel, and Matias are not watching. Okay. <laughs> not at all, but hi. It feels sticky and, and sad. This is my childhood. My childhood is in this. <laughs> Fan questions here yeah. that I got. First one comes from uh, Brian Blenolds from Vancouver, uh, British Columbia. Ooh, I Fantastic. love I love Latin America. That's <laughs> and then we had our children, and that's when I realized that I love gin. <laughs> <laughs> so, your girls now I have no idea yeah so. Lord, uh, you colored Blake's hair did she did, I did color her and hair. you did a good job I Look did a this. pretty good job I gotta say yeah. what I what I love about this video is if you freeze it at any moment you'll see how pissed off I am <laughs> <laughs> I think even at that speed we can see a little thing yeah. to me this is real yep. this is real real true love to me so this is me practicing a plan B <laughs> How are your ombre skills? My ombre, I, yeah, I love that you're ombre. Okay, you're, uh, listen, Seacrest. Blake taught me what ombre meant years ago, and I and I and I still forget. Yeah. Uh, but yes, my ombre skills are pretty good. We did a nice, like, slow Blend. drift down to uh, nice. down to blonde and just a little splash it's, of pink it's just, in there. Which, you have to have patience, though. When you, well, I don't know if you've ever done it, but when you're painting someone else's hair, you got to have real patience. It, you have to stop saying that you're going to move to Canada whenever you're mad at something in the U.S. As a Canadian, I'm sorry. But no, you can't. I know we're friendly, but Canada's not your safe house. I mean, we barely let Canadians into Canada anymore, so please, pick somewhere else. I hear, I hear Finland is really lovely this time of year. You have to stop. What did you say about the back of my head? Yeah. Well, you know, I try to never say anything uh, cruel to Dwayne that I, I, <laughs> that I know I can't get away with. Uh, but yeah, I did say the fact that his head did look not too dissimilar to a penis. I'm just saying <laughs> in that moment, uh, you know, yeah, I, it was, uh, yeah, that's a, you know, a scary thing to say to somebody like Wayne. That's a very right. uh, big... What? Yeah. yeah. Head? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was, it, was that scripted? Actually, a beautiful head. His head, looks, his head looks like a beautiful penis. Yeah. I'm just going to say his head looks like a gorgeous Wayne, penis. Wayne, could we see the back of your head so we can make up our own yeah. mind about yeah. Yeah. Your wife posted something on Instagram and she wrote this. Last week I left my kids for the first time ever. Yeah. Look, she looks yeah, very yeah. happy. Yeah, she did. So did you, were you with the four kids? I was with the four kids. How was that? Uh, you know, single dad. I'm a Reeve McIntyre song. Uh, single dad, uh, doing it, uh, yeah, just doing it for them, right? 
uh, took them all to the park, told them mommy left when they were young. Uh, <laughs> surprisingly, uh, you get a lot of action that way. Um, no, it, yeah, we, we had a good time. No one died, which that was, was nice. Yeah, that was good. And four kids, it's just a zoo. Like, you just surrender, right? You, you just, just have surrender. to surrender. 24-7. You surrender. We had, we had when we had our fourth. I was so happy because I always wanted to make sure that we had always had someone on hand to give me strep throat. <laughs> and now we've recovered. It's so true. it's rolling sickness. There's just never a healthy, uh, a full, clean slate health ever. You're making uh, jokes about your baby daughter. Yeah. Who's six weeks old or oh, something. She's fair game, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> I used to say to her, I would take a bullet for you. I would, mm -hmm. I would, I could never love anything as much as I love you. I would say that to my wife. And then the second I looked in that baby's eyes, I knew in that exact moment that if we were ever under attack, I would use my wife as a human shield <laughs> to protect that baby. And is she talking? Um, yeah, she's saying mama. She like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Please. You know what, though? You know what my wife doesn't realize, though? Is that she calls me mama, too. Ah! Seriously. That's very interesting. She, 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 she calls me. I have, to, I have to literally sit her down and tell her that, that penises don't work that way. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, okay. I've seen Frozen with my daughters so, so many times. <laughs> and, and people who don't know, there's a lot of parents that know this. If you play Frozen backwards, it's a, actually a shot-for-shot shot remake of The Exorcist. When our pediatrician, when she met uh, Inez, she said, uh, oh, this one's shady. <laughs> <laughs> And like even the other day when we were traveling back home, we were at the airport and out of our whole family, she's the only one that got uh, the secondary security pat down. <laughs> at two years, two years old. old. Yeah. All right, so what is and this shady she, two year old? But she just, like, she just like takes it like a hardened felon. Like she's just like, Get, search me. What's up? <laughs> she's like turning around like, Wait, what? while like a thin fart escapes. <laughs> You're just like, what the do you make games when parents can't really be bothered to play? My favorite game is uh, close your <laughs> eyes for 12 hours. <laughs> you had another one with Blake uh, recently. How old is that child? That happened from sex. And, um, we, uh, so yeah. you've only had sex the twice? Just or, the two uh, times, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mommy unfollowed daddy on Instagram. My, yeah. my child would just fart and then walk away. <laughs> you decided to play a song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you play um, when your wife was I, in labor? I jammed a little uh, Marvin Gaye's Let's Get It On. <laughs> Yeah. How did that go? It, it was like, are you <laughs> me right now? How about your kids? Do they, uh, do they have imaginary friends? Well, I mean, they're the children of celebrities. They have a wide <laughs> array of, of maladaptive coping mechanisms uh, at their disposal at any given moment. So, um, no, my, my daughter, Betty, uh, she's, she has a very vivid imagination. Yeah. So there's always somebody standing on. behind me and I turn around quickly like a horror movie and I realize, no, it's just, it's, it's it's just, it's just Harvey from the old movie Harvey, a six foot five rabbit. At least it's not Deadpool. Yeah. No, that would be. No. Uh, and you, decent guy? No, 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 no. <laughs> terrible, terrible human being. Is Ryan Reynolds missing a tooth? What do you... No, these are all my teeth. What the hell's going on here? Ryan Reynolds is missing a lot of things. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get these calf implants out, too, while we're at it. They were no longer dressed up as Pirates of the Caribbean, but everybody was dressed up as Deadpool. Ha, <laughs> suck it, Jack Sparrow. <laughs> Yeah, no, um, nothing. There's nothing that can't. There's no space in that thing at all. When I put it on, I can actually taste my own genitals. It's just, <laughs> it's just like... Aviation American Gin slogan, take one. Aviation American Gin, an illusory and fleeting sense of well-being. Aviation American Gin slogan, take two. Aviation American Gin, if you're drinking anything else, you're drinking bullshit. Aviation American Gin, it'll get you f***ed. Totally, 100%. I just fell in love with this blue shirt. <laughs>